of the potential and future coders out there, you should definitely look for help on the internet. There are many tutorials that will help you get started. And trust me, they can really help you fly off because when I was about, what, six, seven, I started watching tutorials and look at me now. I have had kind of the knack for computers. So when I figured out you can make apps and games on a computer with coding, I hopped straight into it. And my mother sent me to a coding class at University of the West Indies. And she sent you to this class at what age again? Five to six. Describe what, what, what is out of all in terms of the game. It is a platformer where you have to jump on each platform, avoid all the traps and spikes to make it to the end by going through the exit door in each level. I named it How to Fall. It took me a few months to make, to find the idea of the game and make it. Did you have any assistance from anyone? No. All by yourself? Yes. Okay. How many hours do you normally spend each day um, coding? Um, On an average? About two or three. And does this get in the way of your regular school work? No. I do participate in tennis mm -hmm. and chess. Oh, so you, you have a full plate. You, you can say that. I have thought of making a 3D game, but uh, I need a little bit more experience to start doing that. How do you feel to be um, the winner um, of the X Prize Connect? Um, competition in the junior division it that you feels, won it feels good to have won because now I get to represent Jamaica I'll probably enter the next X Prize competition you know but with a 3D game if I learn how to do it in time I mean from I was about 6 and look at me now I mean <laughs> <laughs> He's a big man. He's Dominic Darby. He's a big man, 11 years old, and the recent prize winner of the X Prize Code Games Challenge for creating a game. Godiva Golding is joining us now via Zoom to share with us the importance of teaching coding and robotics to our children. Godiva, welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are you? Hi, Simone. Thank you for that welcome. I am doing well and happy Women's Month oh, to you too. Oh, thank you very much. When you look at Dominic, what comes to your mind? Um, I'm very excited because there is something about just instilling those coding skills very early in a child that really builds their critical thinking skills and their confidence, not just in their ability as technical um, people, but also just the ability to just conceive ideas and follow them through. Um, at Steam House, we have quite a few students who go through and they build their games too. They start at seven and eight and six. And it's really encouraging when you see that a child actually has that ability. Because um, we have our children 